In .NET 7, Link now has simplified ordering of values. Let's see it in action in this 10 minute training video. Now for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. And here I already have some code set up. This is a console app in .NET 7. Again, this is a .NET 7 feature we're seeing here. And I have put some sample code in place. We're going to talk about the comments and out section in just a minute. But we have here a really simple um, a, a list of integers. It's all it is. We call it ages, but really, I mean, it, it's not a whole lot of value at this point. It's just a set of numbers. It's all it really wants to represent. So let's look at the old way of sorting. So let's say var old sorted ages. So we. In .NET 6 and below, we would say ages.order by, and we'd say x arrow x. And basically what we're saying is order by itself. So an integer, there's only one thing to order by, it's the actual integer. And so we're saying just order by that. And that was the old way of sorting ages or sorting whatever numbers you had in a, a numeric list, so doubles or ints or, anything else like that, even, even strings, because it's just, you're just ordering the values. So that was the old way of doing it. How has it changed? Well, let's look at the new sorted ages equals ages dot order. That's it because it's saying, Hey, if we can figure out how to order these things, then just go ahead and order. We don't need to tell it how you want to order it. So with that, just to kind of prove that this works, let's go ahead and uncomment these two. These are just a for each on the old sorted ages and new sorted ages, just to make sure they're in the right numeric order. So let's run this. And we'll see that 23, 51, 84, and 87, and it's the same order for both of those. So that still worked, but now it's just a little cleaner in our syntax but we're not quite done yet. I do want to point something else out. Let's comment this out and let's talk about this person model. So I have a person model with a name and age and I want to order that. So you would think that I could say something like, um, let's do var ordered people equals people dot order. Uh, people, well, <laughs> I have to actually have a list first. Um, so let's create that list and actually I'm just going to copy and paste it. I don't normally do this, but there we go, because you don't need to see me typing this for a, a 10 minute training video. So we have this list of people. Now I can say people dot order. And you might say, is this going to work? Well, the answer is no, but I want to show you that because this is a complex object. So if I were to try to run this code, it's gonna give me an unhandled exception that says, hey, I need to have something that implements I comparable because these two objects don't just naturally compare to each other. So that's where you have a choice. You can either go into your person model and say, you know what, we do have a way to compare these these objects, we'd say uh, I comparable a uh, person model, and then we'd implement that. And we do things like implementing the compare to and the greater than, the less than, or greater than, equal to, and less than or equal to, and override those values. But that's a lot of work when it might be name or it might be age, depending on how you want to order things. And that's where we come back to, well, we don't have to use order. We can use order by and say, there's our X, and we're gonna say X dot uh, name, like so. And there's our ordered people. Let's now run this, and we'll see that it's Greg, Sue, and Tim ordered by name, as opposed to if I said here, age, and did it again, now it's Sue, Tim, Greg, because of the ages. So there's still a place for order by, but if you have either implemented I comparable for your, your object or your object already has I comparable, or 
you have an object that is already has I comparable because it's a simpler object like an int or a double or a string or any of those that's already implemented that, then you can just do order by. I'm sorry, order. So order is the new way of doing things, but we still have order by when we have a more complex object that does not have an I comparable on it. Okay, so that is the new order is also order descending, just so you know. Um, let's go ahead and uh, uncomment this again. And we can say here, we can say order or order descending. All right, same thing. And if you run this, it's gonna run both of them, but we now have this one is order descending. Now in order the other one descending, it'd be the same thing, order by descending, X arrow. Um, but there you go. So now you can do descending as well as ascending. So that's the new order and order descending operators on link that allows us a quicker way to order things that have, an, have implemented I comparable. Thanks for watching. If you want this source code, there's a link down in the description. And if you have any comments or thoughts on this, leave the comments down below. And as always, I am Tim Corey.